So I'm doing some initial tests on this old TS120. Right now we have in the 14 megahertz. And let's see the power output. Max power output, as you can see that's a 250 watt lug. So that's roughly under 100 watts right there. Let's go ahead and switch it to uh, 7 megahertz. This is the 40 meter band. We'll go ahead and turn that on. As you can see, there's a bit of a power drop on that band. And you hear there's some noise in the switch here, this band selector here. Let's go ahead and transmit it on this one. That's close to 100 watts right there. That's pretty close for such old radio. All right, now if we switch bands going down towards 15 meters, the display is no longer showing. I don't know if that's something with the frequency counter. We have some issues there. See, the switch is still And changing the dial doesn't do anything for us. Still acting up. But this was interesting. I'm connected up to a dunny load right now. And I'm still hearing uh, some transmissions. That's with a short little piece of coax going to the watt meter and coax going to the dummy load. As they say, it's an antenna, so it's still going to pick up something. I was talking to a friend years ago, and he said, put your dummy load outside and underneath a metal trash can, and then stake the trash can down by the handles to make a Faraday cage. That way, when you go to transmit hundreds to thousands of watts, you're not interfering with other stations. 73s, guys. Talk to you later.